boys! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're out here at the shooting range today because we gotta get Bree prepped. Bree, yeah. what are you gonna be doing? Killing a turkey. Is that the goal? Mm -hmm. Have you ever killed a turkey before? No, I've never seen one in person. So as you guys know, I killed this turkey opening morning, and now it is Bree's turn. She's never killed a turkey in her life, and hopefully we can get her on one. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna be going over to the new property. We're actually gonna be going to the 100 Acres. If you guys have not seen that video, I bought 100 Acres, and it is a paradise for me, and I've yet to hunt it. So we're gonna go try our luck there, but first, we need to let her shoot. Where are you gonna be shooting today, Bree? Um, the Louis Vuitton gun. The Louis Vuitton gun? Why don't you grab it? As you guys know, I went a little overboard and built a super sick 410. Show that thing off, Bree. So what is that thing? Stevens 301. Oh, you do know that one. Stevens, what kind of choke's in it? Jebs. Really? Yeah, that's right. I'm highly impressed right now. We're going to be shooting some TSS out of it. As you guys can tell, I had this whole thing Cerakoted, and uh, I don't know how well that's showing up, but uh, it's actually Louis Vuitton. Got a little vortex on it. Thing's super badass, and I definitely went overkill with it. Let's go ahead and grab a turkey target out of here. Come on out. There we go. And the staple gun. We need to cut the grass. The grass is getting long back here at the compound. 100% a snake under there. Where's the snake? Snakey, snakey, snake. Think I'm going to be able to hit it from the defender back there? Don't worry about you. No, I got it. All right. Staple that target on there. I absolutely love these turkey targets because they're actually reactive. As you guys can tell, all these red hits are insta-kills. All the yellows are just hits that will uh, probably kill the bird, but not instantly drop it to the ground. Those reactive targets actually have a 10-inch circle on them too. So if you're counting your BBs, it's really easy to do it because the 10-inch circle's already there. All right, Bree, load her up. Let's see what you got, girl. First time ever shooting a 410? Yeah. So you're gonna have the gun setting up just like this when we're sitting there. If we have a turkey working in, you'll hit your red dot. That front button will turn on your red dot and then you'll cock your hammer and you'll be ready to fire. Can you see it? Oh yeah. So the turkey target's down there at like 25 yards. Go ahead, let her shoot one time. You better kill a turkey. These are like $10 shells. You got that? I'll try. You better kill them. Aim on the neck right where the feathers meet the head. <laughs> yep, that's a dead bird. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta, you gotta get the smell in. You gotta catch it. <laughs> What's it smell like? Ah. Ah. Smells like a dead turkey. Dead turkey? Let's go check this target out. Looks like she might have pulled it a little bit to the right, but that is a uh, dead turkey all day. At this range, it is shooting a tight pattern. That is for sure. You almost missed him, girl. No, what happened was I was pulling it and I got yeah. scared and I jerked and then I You can't get scared. I know. I killed him. There's one shot in there. Yeah, three instant kills, four right there. But if you would have had this pattern right here, you would have dang near took his head off. Let's try again. Try again? Mm -hmm. Apparently she wants to try again pretty bad. Slapping up another one. Give her one more try. Her, this shot was just a little bit right. The gun should be on. Thing's pretty dialed. I've shot it a lot, but uh, but she is free-handing it at probably 30 yards. Let's go get another run. All right, Bree, put another one in there. Round two. Right on that neck, Bree. Just squeeze through until the gun goes off. <laughs> ah, that's a dead turkey. Did it feel better? Yeah, I wasn't that shaky. Let's see it. Ah. Yeah, this one, she didn't pull it anywhere. It's right on the money. That bird is destroyed. Gotta love a 410. Check that out. So this pattern right here definitely got moved and went right there. Smoked him. That's a dead bird. Dead Tommy boy. Ready to go kill one? Yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pick you guys up in the morning. The morning might be a little rough trying to sneak in there in the dark with filming and everything. So uh, let's just roll on and uh, see if we can't kill one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is morning time. It is six in the morning. It is cold out. We're gonna try to get on one this morning. We're headed to the new property. We're about 20 minutes out. Bray, uh, you got the breakfast? Yeah, I got the biscuits. You got the biscuits? <laughs> yep. You ready to kill one this morning? I'm ready. You ready? Hopefully we can make something happen this morning, but uh, let's throw her back and drive. Let's just hope for a beautiful morning. That's what we want. Maybe hear a few birds gobble. I don't even know if there's turkeys over here, but uh, we're gonna go give it a shot. I have seen a few turkeys, but I mean, I don't know if this place is loaded or not. So hopefully this morning we'll find out, see what all we hear, and uh, let's go see what happens. I'll pick you guys up once we get there. All right, guys, we've made it out here to the new property. Just waiting to hear our first gobble. Hopefully one picks up. I have a feeling the turkeys are gonna be on this side of the property, but it won't surprise me if one did come from these hardwoods over here. Let's hit an owl hoot. I ain't very good at it, but. Oh, 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 oh. Was that across the gas line or was that more towards the right? <laughs> Let's go. First time hunting this property. Let's see if we make something happen. <laughs> Let's go. He's right there. He's gone. Let's get set up right here on the gas line. Hopefully this open field will draw him out. We can't go too far that way. <laughs> Something happen. 
All right, boys, this feels good. This is the first time I've ever hunting property that I physically own, which is crazy. If we even see a bird today, I'm gonna be tickled to death. We're gonna get set back up in the woods, get hid. Let's hope for the best. You ready, Bree? Yeah. Let's see if we can make something happen. All right, guys, we are set up. Got the decoys out in this gas line, trying to get Bree's first bird ever. If a bird does it right here, it's gonna be pretty sexy. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer and make my first call. Let them know we're here and just shut up and see what happens. <laughs> Guys, it sounds like that bird headed the opposite direction. I was really worried about this. The property over that way is, uh, looks like beautiful turkey habitat. A bunch of big hay fields. I mean, just somewhere it looks like you'd want a turkey hunt. But uh, we're gonna sit here for another hour or so, just see what happens. And we're gonna run to the deer hunting property. And uh, that's normally where I kill all my turkeys. I killed one there open in the morning. See if we can't go get Bree one there. But uh, let's just chill out and see what happens. 20 minutes later. Make sure you only kill one. Either one, just don't kill both. There you go, baby. They snuck in. Yeah, they're jakes. They don't gobble. That's so crazy. Yeah. So I went ahead and I took a poke at that second one. I said, screw it. I'll tag out just to double up with Bree. Even though they're jakes. This is the first hunt at the new property. We've heard quite a few gobblers this morning, but most of them headed the other way. I was just telling Bree that uh, these turkeys might swoop around and end up on this gas line. But this property over here has a bunch of big fields. And I mean, we had a hen right here in front of us, right here calling. And you want to go get your bird? That was so crazy. They like snuck in. See, I heard something to our, our right, actually, right here in the woods. And I looked over, I was like, I bet it's that hen that circled down there and was coming around. And then these two bad boys just rolled in. Wait, let's be quiet. I would have loved to got Bree a big gobbler, but I know she's been putting in the work trying to come out here and kill a bird with me. Wait, that bird I shot open in the morning last night, it was pretty good. So, uh, got some more meat. First bird ever, huh? That's the first turkey you've ever seen, seen within seen 150 first. yards. Yeah. That is awesome. She goes... Braden. I look up like perfect Jake's grab the camera. Let's smack one. It's big though. It is a big bird. No, they'll eat just as good. Look, the little Louis Vuitton 410 with the smack down, baby. Get your bird. It's gonna move. This dead. Wanna we'll see what your beard's like? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Okay, okay. Yep, he's trying to fly. Those reflexes with a headshot. Muscle memory trying to get out of here. How was that hunt? It was fun. Yeah? I that was easy, it. wasn't it? Yeah. I they came right up this draw right here. Every morning I've just been praying. I was like, you know, if we don't kill a bird, let's just have a pretty morning. And this morning is beautiful. And uh, Bree, first bird ever, it girl. Happened. It finally happened. We still got to get you a big tom, but well. you get two tags for a reason. And to do it at the new property, first hunt yeah, ever. Crazy. That is awesome. Now we are still going to go down to the hunting property and uh, try to get on another bird there. I want to try to get on another tom. Bree's tagged out for the day. Your limit's one a day in North Carolina. I guess I'm on the sticks. <laughs> You're going to be camera girl. Bree, come on, come on. Check out your bird. Oh, look at his little thing. His little spurs. His little toenails. The little toenails. <laughs> Big turkey killer, huh? What's his beard like? <laughs> Come on, let's see it, Bree. He would have been a big one day. He said, he said what? He would have been a big one day. Yeah, day. probably a little six inch beard. It is a thick little beard, ain't it? It is thick. So I've only gotten one tom on camera over here. And granted, I didn't have cameras out for a very long time, but it was actually that cell cam right there. I told Bree pulling in here this morning that the turkeys were gonna be on this side because this property over here next to me, it has a bunch of fields. It just looks like perfect turkey habitat. And the other side of the property just doesn't seem quite right. I mean, it's just all big hardwoods. And I've never had luck just killing birds in big hardwoods. But you get out in these fields, stuff tends to happen. When the two turkeys came in, I had to like blink and make sure I was seeing it right. <laughs> They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah, I didn't believe it, it was true. <laughs> <laughs> Throw them over your shoulder. Both legs. The turkey killer. Oh, uh, turn around. Let's see him. See that big old bird, baby? Hell yeah, he looks good. How cool is that hen, that though? Cool. That hen was like right here. So let's step it off. Shot him right here. One, two, three, 
four, five, 13, 14, 15, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27 yards to the tip of the barrel on the gun. So 27, 28 yards, absolutely crushed them. I had Bree sitting up right there, I was sitting right there. I grabbed her 20 gauge that I got her for her birthday and I actually shot it on paper the other day at 40. It is not good, not shooting TSS. I threw a pop shot at that other bird leaving through the brush, kind of thinking about it, glad I missed now because my season would kind of be over and we couldn't hunt the rest of the day. But I was like, first hunt on a new property, even if it's doubling up on Jake's, man. I haven't killed a lot of turkeys in my life. I've probably killed 10 or so long beards. I don't, I've actually never shot a Jake. Let's pack these decoys up. We're gonna hightail it to the deer club, see if I can't get on Tom. 7.20 in the morning, we'll be there by 8.30. If any birds are gobbling, they're probably killable. Let's get packed up. What a good morning, boys. Let's go see if we can't make it better. What you think? I'm excited. That was so cool. Yeah? We had an amazing deer season. I got Bree on her biggest buck ever. I got her little sister on her first buck and biggest buck ever. Shot a bunch of hogs this year. Shot a bunch of deer in general. I mean, overall, it was a great season. I killed the ghost, my biggest buck ever in North Carolina. And now we're carrying it on in turkey season. Shot a bird opening day. Got Bree on her first bird ever. Peter got his first bird ever the other morning. And uh, he's going to be posting a video that soon if it's not already out. It's been a great year, man. Absolutely blessed. That bird heavy? Aren't you glad you didn't uh, shoot a Tom now? Tom would have been a lot heavier. We're gonna head to the truck, get some Red Bull on our system, and uh, keep rolling. We made it out into the field, headed back up to the house site right there. So beautiful. This is my first morning out here on the property ever. I've never been out here early in the morning. Turkey season's the prettiest time to do it. That's a fact. Man, it's crazy, because just the trail we walked in on, you know, I cut that probably a month ago. And to be able to make stuff happen like this, there's a lot of work involved. Even if you're hunting private land like this, there's so much work that's involved. You know, public land is finding the bird and getting away from the other hunters. Private land, there's just a lot of maintenance that goes on constantly. Look at that sunrise, baby. Bree, what took you so long to shoot this morning? Well, they stood in the decoys for like four minutes. You were telling me you were threatening me not to shoot both and they were sitting inside so I was scared. <laughs> you only allowed one, Bree. I know. That's why I waited. And then I was like, well, why even rush if I have all the time in the world? Yeah, that 410 at 28 yards. It's possible to kill two, but uh, it's definitely throwing out a tight pattern for that. But we're gonna throw everything in the truck, get loaded up, call in this bird, make it legal, and uh, try to go get another one. Oh, boys, we are pulling up to the clubhouse. But well, let's go ahead and hop out the truck. Whoo, it's bright. As you guys know, last deer season, we actually did a whole video series. I lost a lot of the footage, but the videos are live of remodeling the clubhouse. And I got at least down here, this is 750 acres that I leased down here, and we actually have this cabin, which is super sweet. We share with some buddies. And all in all, this place, place it's produced every turkey I've ever killed. I killed one turkey in Georgia with 4610 productions. It's Jay Maxwell. You guys know him. And every other turkey has came from this property. So uh, other than this morning, which was sick. First bird ever on the new property. But we're going to get that Defender unloaded. We're going to hop up in it. We got to go see if we can't find a fired up bird. Hopefully we hear one. It's about 830. So uh, if we hear one, might have a good chance to kill him. But uh, let's go get after it. All right, guys, we just rolled up on our first spot. We're going to let this thing sit for a second because I'm sure some birds heard us roll by. We're just going to try to locate a bird. Try the old mouth call. I'm not good at calling. I promise you that. That. but that's what a crow calls for we're gonna see if we just can't get one to fire up it is midday so the likelihood of one firing back at a crow has gone down this morning was awesome so let's see if we can't continue <laughs> I love a crow call because you can hit it a few times and then naturally crows will come to the call and now you got crows working for you if we don't have one fire up right here, we're going to walk into the power line where I normally hear quite a few birds. Normally I hear birds right in here, sometimes over here, and sometimes over here. But the power line, typically, it's way back in the woods. Normally, there's birds over there. So we'll walk all the way in there, get set up. We might just throw some decoys out and set up and hang out and see what happens. Hell, we might climb up in the big stand because once we get high like that, we'll be able to hear better. And if we hear a bird, then we can make a move. <laughs> I like it in the morning because I'm not good at calling. I can kill a fired up bird all day, but smart older birds that aren't that fired up, they know something's not right. <laughs> in the morning, I can locate them, get close enough, and they ain't got to be as loud and I can, it sounds a lot better. I need to get lessons from Jay Maxwell. I know you're watching this, Jay. You need to help a brother out here. Let's go park the Defender up there and let's roll to the power line. Can you give us the gobble? <laughs> the pipe is loaded. <laughs> It always gets louder, like traffic and stuff this time of the day. <laughs> I almost feel like I hear one gobbling in the power line. It's the faintest, you know? If we cut the 500 yards over there, I mean, that is a bird here on Claire's day. Let's go to the power line. Let's go. <laughs> We're just going to 
gonna sit on the ground. We're on the top of the hill to where at least we can see both ways. Should be able to hear the best. I'm gonna throw out some decoys, set it up. I kinda checked all the spots where I thought birds would gobble. Nothing, set it up, and see what comes out. All right, guys, we've gotten set up. Got the decoys at 20 yards. We're just gonna sit here and see what happens. Don't want the morning to end early, so uh, might not even see a bird, but we'll see. I've never tried coming in late like this. That's a turkey. Is it a turkey? If it is, we need to get after him. He's fired up. He's in that big bottom. Let's go. Depending on which side of the swamp he's on, I don't know if we'll get him across it. He's in a hole right now, so if he pops up out of the hole on this side, he'll sound a lot closer. Probably might be able to get him. <laughs> There's a lot of undergrowth and hills in between him and us, so he could be closer, I'm not sure. Just get ready in case he does, i tell him this way. Oh, boys. Well, we did not manage to uh, kill a Tom. Bree, how was your nap? That was good. She had a pretty good nap, but we're back in the Defender. We're gonna go get this thing on the truck. We're gonna head home. Our turkey season's not over. Me and Bree both have one more tag. So if you guys smash the thumbs up on this video, we'll make some more turkey hunting content. Try to get Bree on a big old tom. But uh, get back to the truck, let's head home, and uh, let's get this turkey out. Well guys, we made it back to the house. What'd you think about the hunt this morning? It was fun. It was, it was crazy fun. though. They just slithered all in there. Yeah, see a big tom would have been gobbling and you know, all that good stuff. I still gotta get Bree on a big tom. Show her like really what turkey hunting's about. but. Those birds were pretty coming in there. You know, they did a little bit of a half strut, but uh, they got got. How big is our Jake beard? What's everybody's guesses in the comments? I think that'd go 10. 10? <laughs> Four. Four? Mm -hmm. Garrett, what's your guess? You should be good at this one. <laughs> That's a solid 5.7. 5.7? I'm gonna go five and an eight. Five and an eight. <laughs> well, let's see. This guy. I did not measure it. This guy. All right, so that hair is busted. So if we put it down, yeah, I'd go five and an eighth, a little, little, maybe a little over five and an eighth. Yeah, I, I don't know. You want to keep those? How do you keep them? Cut right there, cut right there. Put one on your keychain? No, thank you. No? No keychain baby spur? What do you think, Leah? She loves turkeys. I brought Leah a turkey on opening day, and she just could not leave that thing alone. We could just give her a turkey leg to chew on. My first turkey leg, you're going to give it to the dog? Yeah. And did you just say inconsiderate? Chop this bird up. What okay, I'll chop him up. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cut off this beard. A lot of people will just pull him out. I don't trust that. I'd rather be safe than sorry. We're just gonna cut that joker off. Get a little goatee action. So the last bird I did, I actually plucked him. But this bird, I'm not gonna keep the skin on him because I had mom cook him and she literally just pulled the skin off that I worked so hard to keep. But it's great to do that with a shop vac. We're just gonna poke a hole through this skin. And it's funny because like all birds get cleaned the exact same way. So right here, there's that bone. You can actually just cut that to get into the skin. Basically just wanna get it big enough to get your fingers in. Then once you get your fingers in, pull them open. Just like so. Leah's all about this bird. Leah, I'm telling you, she loves turkeys. Leah, you can get clean up later, okay? You gotta worry about it right now, all right? She ate a feather. Got some BBs in the chest. We're gonna go right up the center right here to separate each booby. We're gonna go down this bone. It's like you're filleting a fish. It's crazy how much meat's on a turkey, too. Probably gonna do a terrible job because you're filming it. We're gonna try not to. Oop. Aren't you supposed to be doing this? Mm. You shot the dang thing. It does look easy, though. Yeah, that's pretty easy. I'm just gonna get that booby and rip it. Come here, booby. I don't claim to be a professional, by the way. Everyone thinks that since I film stuff, I'm a professional, it's not the case. We're just gonna cut that booby out. There's our first booby. Now we gotta repeat, get this other side. I really wish we could've got a Tom at the deer club today. I'd be tagged out though, so. But we got there so late, odds of it happening was kinda slim. And just like that, we got a set of boobies for the grill. We're gonna get these things cleaned up and marinating, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test. So let's just kick it over to my mom's kitchen. All right, guys, so we're actually not gonna be cooking over at the parents' now. We have a lot of turkey to cook, but mom wants to do it another night, and I wanna go ahead and try this stuff. Bree, what is uh, what is that, girl? Uh, my turkey. Your turkey? <laughs> yeah. So in here, we actually have the turkey, an Italian dressing, and some basil. You think that's gonna be good? I Smell know. it. Smell it. Jeez. Smell it. Come on, get you a whiff. It does smell good. Yeah? Actually. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be good. Mom used to grill chicken like this, and my goodness, was it the best thing ever? You know what we should have done? Should have got rice and did hibachi turkey. That would have been fire. Well, we're gonna try this out. I guess we still got more turkey to do that with later. We got the black stone out. It's rolling for the first time in a long time. It is already hot, so uh, let's throw this on here and get it cooking. Let's open this bad boy up. That's hot. Might be a little too hot. I don't know how long you cook this stuff for. Get some oil on that. Let's just see if I burn it. We're about to find out real quick. Turn this jerker down just a little bit. All right, we've turned it down a little bit. Go ahead and lay them on. I think that's a little hot. Maybe we start with one and see what happens. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw them all on. 
Nothing like a medium rare turkey. We gotta get all that seasoning left over in there on this one. That's that good stuff, baby. Oh yeah, we are cooking that entirely too fast. <laughs> I like a little crispy though. Check out this underside. Come get a shot. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Ow! Let's just hope we can leave it on there long enough that it's not burnt when it's cooked all the way through. Leah, does it smell good? You ready for some turkey? We gotta give her a piece of turkey. Oh no. Why do you mean no? She'll she like... loves turkeys. No, she'll like people food. We should have gave her a piece of raw turkey. We might have to do that. Leah, you love the turkeys, don't you? Mom said I needed to cook this like low heat for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm kind of running off my, my steak vibes of medium rare, but I don't think you're supposed to eat turkey like that. Leah, sit. Shake. Oh, good girl. Can you lay down? Good girl. Uh, uh, lay down. Good girl. Good girl. Leah's officially over a year old. She turned a year old in January. And I think this is as big as she's going to get. She's like 65 pounds as a German Shepherd. I think she's done growing. I don't really know. Are you done growing? You're not going to get no bigger? All right, let's flip these things. That looks so good. That looks phenomenal. We're gonna let it keep rolling though. It's not burning. That's what we wanted. I wanna get that heat up just a little bit so when we flip them, we get a little crust. Those are looking so good. Kendall Gray, Andrew Flair, y'all don't have shit on me, all right? That's gonna be good. I can't wait to cut into it. Pull one of these off of here. It's getting a little uh, black. Just see if it's cooked. Best thing to do is let it sit. Oh, <laughs> check that out. <laughs> This is gonna be so good. Come check it out. That turkey looks so, if that doesn't make your mouth water, I don't know what will. We're gonna let it rest. Let all the juices settle in here for a second. And we're gonna try it. What do you think, gonna be good? It looks better than I thought it would look. Yeah, that's right, that's yeah. right. All right, boys, we're gonna go ahead and get our first bite. I have a feeling it's gonna be good. Let's try it. You are gonna love that. That is so good. Get you a bite of that. You're gonna be amazed. Right? It's so tender. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I wish everybody could try this. Turkey hunting, of course we do it for the sport. Of course we do it because it's so fun and springtime, it is beautiful outside and going out and enjoying God's creation. But that right there, oh my gosh, that is good. You can't get that in a store. That's yeah. good. Yeah? Nine How good? Plus. Scale of 1 to 10. I'd give it like 9.7. 9.7? Definitely, I think uh, trying that and making like hibachi style turkey, that would be pretty cool. If Kendall or Andrew doesn't beat me to it. I'm going to finish up. Dude, oh my gosh. Mom texted me and said that hers tomorrow is gonna be better. I don't believe it. This is freaking fire. Bree's first turkey. You shot that thing. I shot you it. shot that thing. But if you guys would, like, subscribe, and we'll catch y'all on the next one.